cluster. Doesn't look like I'll be getting any special parking today. Might as well throw that away. Oh, Brent beat me. Looks like Brent got some unloaded already. He's been busy this morning. Looks like we had a little accident here. Those are sunnies. Sunflowers. You think you can do that in here? Do what? Brent shaved. <laughs> oh shit. Look out. She's a little soft right there. Okay, kids, so whenever we rip a bag, like the sunflowers, they actually came on the truck like that, so it wasn't our fault. But I don't wanna go through the paperwork and headache of sending it back to wherever it came from. So we are just gonna let one of our sunflower customers take it. Of course, it's on the very bottom. He doesn't need the whole pallet, so we gotta get at it and pull it out of there. So we gotta take all these, Brent, Brent, has to take all of these out, put them on this skid here, and then get that one out. Let's cheer him on. So I don't typically sell sunflowers in our area. This is like the very first year I've ever actually handled sunflower seed in the shed here. Uh, these are oil sunflowers, so not the spits, not the kind that you get in the convenience store that you, that you eat. These actually go for oil. It's like I say, crush them or whatever, so they're just different. The guy that I'm selling these to, he has been growing Confex for the last couple years. Those are the ones you eat. Um, but consistently, or whoever you sell them to, they don't, uh, they dock you pretty hard if they're not up to spec. So with the oils, you get, you take a lower price uh, for all of them, but you're more likely to hit your grade. So on a net return, you're likely about the same likely, but you just have quite a bit less risk because uh, that food or that food grade market's pretty, can be pretty challenging to get into. From what I've heard, this is, like I said, this is my first year dealing with them. So. But yeah, they are pretty light. So I'm gonna make sure you strap them down so they don't fly out of the back of the truck. Oh, wait, no, no. They're heavy, Brent wants me to tell you they're heavy so that you think that he's actually working hard and working up a sweat. So this is what we got on the truck. We got some 7527 corn. That's gonna be used for uh, silage. That's what that is up there. This is 7005 corn. It'll be used for combining as grain. Some 7211, this is all 7211. It'll also be going for grain. So I'd like to think there's kind of a method to our madness and the way we organize our shop here, but there really isn't. There should, it would make our life a lot easier if there was, but. So there's, well, there's sunflowers, canola, soybeans, corn, and usually some sort of alfalfa grass that we get in. So within the corn, we have we work with probably, I don't know, 10 hybrids. Canola, there's probably 10 hybrids that we deal with. Soybeans, like three or four varieties. Uh, did I say canola? Every bag of corn, there's 80,000 kernels in a bag. Um, it's The corn is sold as uh, by the seed. Canola is a little bit different in the way we do it. Um, every bag is 50 pounds. So depending on the thousand kernel weight, um, there could either be more or less uh, seeds in that bag. So typically everyone seeds at about five pounds an acre. The market's kind of calling, it's changing a little bit. Guys want to seed uh, and actually target seeding, actually seeds per acre and they get that rate right down. So instead of a 10 acres per bag that we have typically been going at, it could swing up, you know, um, you might get down to as low as eight acres per bag or up to 12 acres a bag. If you go with a planter, you're getting even, you could probably even cut that down and go like 15 acres a bag. So your price per acre can really swing that much. Um, so that's why buying per seed, you know exactly what your cost per acre is gonna be. A um, little bit of a difference there. The soybeans, I, I deal with all these black boxes, the back here for the beans. They are, they come in 45 unit bag, 45 unit boxes. Well, here's some right here. So these are, what, this is what the bean label says, glyphosate tolerance. Um, yeah, this is a variety. This is seeds per pound right here. I don't even know if you can read that, might be backwards. So that's where we figure out our seeding rate. Um, one of these boxes can do about, I don't know, 30 acres. 
if you're at 200,000 seeds an acre. Uh, whereas, you can kind of notice this, one box of these does 30 acres. It takes about the same amount of space as 60 bags in the shed for canola. So that does 600 acres and this does 30 acres. <laughs> so quite a big swing in, uh, in the bulk of it. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's a lot easier for me to handle 600 acres worth of seed versus 30 acres of soybean seed. Look at that. Brent has it all stacked up. Good job, Brent. I really did actually think that this was Brent, Brent's hair that he shaved off when we came in here, but uh, it's actually all that twine that was on those packers on that drill. He did say he needed a haircut. If we get lucky, get the camera set up on the, on the dash here, so we might catch Brent singing. <laughs> Mess this up every year. We're going to the same guy's house. I've been there so many times, but I, we always forget which road to go down. So we're taking a chance. We saw some cows, so we just figured that this is the way. We're just gonna go. Turns out we turned one mile too soon, so now we just gotta go all the way up and around section. So tack on another three miles to our trip. Thanks a lot, Brent. Yeah. Oh, we found it. Don't send out the cavalry just yet. So these guys have bought seed from us for the last few years, uh, which is awesome. We appreciate it. But every time the last few years, he's had to actually, uh, Brent said had to hand bomb all these bags because they didn't have a way of unloading them on the pallets. So these guys just recently picked up a skid loader. So Brent doesn't have to. When I told him that he was big grin across his face because you know, he's lazy. That's almost a hundred bags of corn, 50 pounds a piece. So, get his exercise in for the day. Second stop of the day. What? COVID-19, stop, or you will be shot. Don't worry, we called the, we called the farm boss, let him know we're coming through. It's one of the colonies we deal with. Super nice people. They got really nice farm shops, so hopefully I can grab a picture of that. This is their big gardens out front here. They got a, the river down below there. They actually got a real nice setup down here. They make the best cinnamon sticky bun pull apart things come all drizzled with caramel brown sugar butter brent's on the keto diet so he obviously can't have any we 
Maybe I'll swing a deal. Give them all this seed for free in exchange for one tray of Cinnabons. Look at that shop. It's a monster. So we just leave the colony there and I get a call. Jack, the farm boss, said, where are ya? I'm gonna check and see if there's any honey buns in the freezer. So here we are, pulled over. Oh, lucky day. See what I tell you, the nicest guys ever. Brent thinks he's getting these. Look at these. Okay, we gotta get a thumbnail here. No, wait, we need, we need all of them. You hold one, I'll hold one. Nice. Look at these. Oh man, they are frozen. But, oh and also these. Chicken pie. Brent gets one too. No, actually, Brent thinks he's getting them, but he's not getting any of this. Like. I gotta, I gotta deal with Jack on a daily basis. He's a hard ass. Nah, he's a real nice guy, but. Oh man. Brent's getting his Insta story set up. Still frozen, but. Ask me why this Temple gas station in Rivers reminds me of Corner Gas, the the TV show Corner Gas. I don't know why. Small town. I don't know. Sounds like we're done for the day. Brent doesn't want to work anymore. And to be honest, I'm bloody tired after smashing most of those honey buns. I'm ready for bed. Anyway, this is our, uh, this is the old basswood uh, school grounds here. Got a couple backstops set up for, for baseball. Brent usually organizes a big baseball tournament for May Long. Probably gonna get canceled cause Corona, but what can you do? So that sucks. Cause that's usually a pretty good weekend on May Long but away she goes well i guess i'll sign off for the day thanks for watching if you want more hit that subscribe button to follow along hit the like button if you like what you're watching you've been seeing us load a lot of corn beans canola or you will be seeing us do that i'm kind of interested what you guys are growing on your own farms for major crops um, and if you don't farm what do you want to see more of i'll be th throughout the growing season i'll be uh, touring a lot of fields checking crops so you want me to focus on anything in particular let me know i want to show you what you want to see peace i'm out of here so if you didn't know i'm from Minnedosa. we have a train 
Oh, we got a broken windshield. Don't mind that. We have a we have a coupe. Oh, we got a factory over there. Got a car dealer there for all your car needs, cause cars. We got ourselves a Morris dealer. They make things. That's all shut down, cause, cause economy. We got a drive-in. Can't wait for that to be open. Make the best food ever. Cause I'm fat. Oh, little bowling action. Got a blazers, cause that's where you gotta go to get your snacks after you blaze up. Every town needs a tank. Got one of those. Best food in the town, Subway. And if you notice, we don't have a single, single traffic light in this town. Just, uh, just the stop signs. We're in the big city now, boy. So yeah, Minnetosa, basically the center of civilization.